Welcome, this is Tennessee into course uh, practice test number three for algebra one, question number 46. Which statement represents the solution to this compound inequality? Now, compound would mean that there's more than one thing going on. And it's got this nice or statement here, so that means that I can sort of split it into two problems. I'm going to move this one over here. Negative 2x plus 28 is greater than 66. And on the other side, negative 8x. I guess I could do it in a different color. That would make, make a visual point. Negative 8x plus 20 is less than negative 4. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start solving the one on the left here. I draw my line down the inequality just to sort of keep everything organized. And now I know that I need to move any or get rid of anything on the same side of the line as the x. And I start with the thing that's furthest away from it. So I'm going to start with plus 28. So instead of doing um, addition, I'm going to do a little bit of subtraction here. So 66 minus 28 gives me 38. Then I bring down my negative 2x. I'm going to divide by negative 2. I tend to, in the last step, if I'm dividing or multiplying, circle that number. If that number is negative and I've circled it, it reminds me to flip the inequality over. So instead of being a greater than situation, it actually becomes a less than. So just like this. On the other side of it, I'm going to draw a line on this one. I do minus 20 on this side and minus 20 on this side. Uh, combine these terms together, get negative 24. Now in this case, I need to divide both sides by negative 8. Once again, I want to circle it. This becomes 3. Um, instead of being less than, I'm actually going to do a greater than. So I end up with x is greater than 3, or x is less than negative 19. Then I just go up and look for my answers. So since I kept x on the left side, I can actually look exactly for the answer. And the answer to number 46 is c. So there's that. Um, not really a big deal. Just split it and solve it, and then look for your answer. And it shouldn't be that hard to get it correct. So good luck.